hello I am back with another video and I do realize I do I realize it is not Thursday and do I have a reason why I didn't record a video yesterday yes I do and that reason is because you know how you get those days where it's just absolutely nothing in the world goes right well that was yesterday and actually probably the day before that was the same too so that was why but um i just got a text message but from my husband but that was the reason why but i am here today and i am doing a different kind of video and it's about dry skin care as the title says now i've been one of those people who have excuse me who have suffered from dry skin since i was like practically born my mom told me that um i had cradle cap when I was younger and if you don't know what that is it's just like a, a obscene amount of dryness in your scalp and your hair and I'll do a different um, hair care video but this is not what this is about but just to kind of kind of go on how dry my skin has always been um, and then from then on I had to take like extra you know precautions with my skin and kind of research what I use ahead of time so what this video is about is actually just family skincare and how we manage everything as far as having dry skin. Now I have extreme dry skin. My daughter Peyton has extreme dry skin. My husband doesn't have extreme dry skin, but he does only because um, he's diabetic. So he has to use a certain type of cream on his skin just because of the dryness that comes from that. But first what I'll do, since hers is such an easy process, I'll do my daughter first. So, <coughs> excuse me, sorry. There's all kinds of problems going on in this video today as far as like coughing, text messages, aliens outside. I mean, geez, everybody's trying to get into my video. I don't know why. If you want a spot, just ask me. I'll put you in here. But anyway... As far as her skincare, she was actually born with mild eczema. So, and she still somewhat has that now too. So, we have to use a special cream on her skin um, because she'll get dry really quickly and then she'll break out into eczema bumps on her skin too. So, we've tried a couple of different things. We've tried, you know, Johnson's. Johnson's seems like it just made it worse. And not knocking Johnson's, but... It just didn't really help her. Um, we've tried, you know, Aveeno, which is what we use now. And we've tried, like, the Aveeno washes and all of that. And what we use as far as lotions on her skins right now, um, her skins, on her skin right now is the Aveeno Baby Lotion, if you can see that. And it's the Soothing Relief Moisture Cream with Natural Oatmeal. And it's the 24 hour one. This one I have noticed works really well as far as to keep the dryness away from her skin. And Aveeno makes a whole line of eczema products. So if you're looking for something for your baby or your toddler, this would be a good choice to do. Now as far as what we wash her with, we were washing her with the Aveeno wash. But um, that honestly did not seem to help and if you've seen Aveeno products as far as not necessarily with the regular products for you know women but their baby products are extremely expensive which is okay because she's worth it but this is the small container um of the cream but normally the regular container is like six bucks and then the wash is six bucks so you're spending twelve dollars well the wash believe it or not didn't really help her the cream is awesome but the wash just kind of the bumps never went away so from the advice of I have like hair all over my skin good lord <laughs> from the advice of um my mother-in-law and I actually started using just complete just straight up dove for sensitive skin and so um this has helped it keeps the bumps at bay. You know, she doesn't scratch all the time like she used to. And when you look at her skin, you honestly can't even really tell if she has eczema. It's mostly just like on her chest or her belly or something like that where you can actually tell that. But 
So because this works so well, um, I was actually using this before for me, but because this works so well for her, I we just use it across the board in the house, and it helps me, and it helps her, and it helps my husband too. And God, I text message again. I'm telling you, everybody wants to get in my video, but we'll go to my husband, and we'll do me last. Um, he actually uses um. I bought this cream for him just because he is so like just I mean he's better about it now because he seems how he sees how well it works but he's so bad about putting lotion on his skin it's crazy so I saw a commercial for this and I was like okay I don't know what that would really have to do with him being diabetic but I'll try it but it's this gold bond um, diabetics dry skin relief cream and it's fragrance-free, non-greasy, dermatologist-tested, as well as um, the Vino, too. I forgot to mention that. It has no fragrance, and we don't use fragrant wipes or any of that stuff, so that helps, too. But um, it has nothing in it, basically. It's just straight up. I mean, it has, like, aloe, vitamins, stuff like that, the normal things that come in lotion. But as you can see, he's been using this um, a lot. And it has helped. And I've seen, like, huge improvement with his skin. And it, because it hydrates and nourishes dry skin problems. So, I don't, because I don't really know, I know a lot about diabetes just because of him being diagnosed not too long ago. But as far as, like, what it does to the skin, I don't know. But I do know that this does help. So, if you are diabetic and you feel like you your skin has gotten extremely dry since then, this would be a good product to choose. And of course, it's sold everywhere, as well as the Aveeno and the Dove, of course. Now with me, doing me last, um, <laughs> no pun intended, I use, and I actually just started using this in May, before I actually used um, baby lotion, which has helped me for years, but I wanted to try something different. So... When we were in Disney in May, my sister, she smelled so good. And I was like, what in the heck? Why do you smell so good? Because normally she stinks. I'm just joking. No, you don't. But, um, And she showed me this. And I've mentioned this previously in my other videos. And it's the Palmer's, ooh, Palmer's and hair. Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula with Vitamin E. Heals and soothes rough, soothes <laughs> rough dry skin. Soothes rough dry skin for 24 hour moisture so this is very awesome if you can see that and it smells amazing it just smells like cocoa butter with like a hint of cookie to it as you can see that's what it looks like i'm almost done and this uses up so fast because with me and i'll say this and even though this works out really well for me i'm still one of those people that i think is gonna have dry skin for the rest of her life because when I wake up and I shower, I put on lotion. I put this on. And I use a hydrating um, body wash at times. And most of the time, I just use the Dove. And then before I leave the house, I have to reapply lotion again. So I reapply this again. And this, I feel like once I reapply this to my skin before I leave the house, then I'm set the rest of the day. So it's only down to two. If I look at my previous stuff that I used, it was more like two times, two or three times before I leave the house. But with this, I'm set. Of course, when, you know, I have to use stuff on my hands when I wash my hands. But this is really, really good if you want this. And it kind of feels like it kind of exfoliates a little bit too. So that's an extra plus. But it, I don't see where any of that's included with this. But it feels that way to me. Now, I've mentioned this before, too, and as far as, like, skincare for my face, this is something that I literally have been using since the seventh grade. My mom bought it for me, and they had a different container before, but that's the St. Ives Timeless Skin Collagen Elastin Moisturizer. If you can see that. Sorry about the glare. But this is seriously a miracle cream. This, I actually had stopped using it for a while and I was using something else. But then I had to train my face to get back into this because I was using it for so long. You know how skincare products, they just get, you know, go off on another level somewhere else and they stop working for your skin. Well, I had to retrain my skin back into this. And this stuff is amazing. If you have dry skin, this works amazing for your face. 
and it you know clears up anything that you have a lot of people tell me that I have really nice skin and I will tell you it's because of this and you know the fact that I don't put really many chemicals or anything like that on my face at all I use makeup wipes I use this at night um, I wash with water I don't use soap on my face um, and so then I use this and this has helped me and it's not thick either it looks thick in this container if you can see it but it's very light see and I'll show you because if you look at it just take a little bit out it goes on very light so it's see and it looks very thick but it's not and it doesn't it looks greasy when you're rubbing it on but it doesn't stay that way because as you can see it's already rubbed in but, um, of course, I don't use this for my body, but I do use it for my face. So, if you need something that is going to work, St. Ives, their creams, I mean, of course, their, you know, exfoliants and all that works really well, too. But the cream for the moisturizer, this is what I've tried that has been freaking amazing. So, that is the dry component skin care products that we use in our house that actually helps keep our dry skin at bay now of course everything else helps everybody else i still have to do extra precautions with mine but if you want to see a skincare routine for me please let me know i it's honestly not that much that i do so it won't be too informative but um let me know down below if you want to see more from me or if you want to hear any more about these products let me know um, my blog hasn't been updated too much lately, so don't look there for the products. I'll just kind of include them below, but I once I update that, I'll go ahead and put the products on there for you too. I hope you guys are having an awesome Friday. Um, it's not a Friday for me. My Saturday is my Friday, but I hope you guys have an awesome day. Thank you so much for watching, and...